Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. The consolidated balance sheet of investment banks operating in Lebanon expanding by 3.21% in 2014 to 4.11 billion US dollars, up from nearly 3.99 billion at the end of 2013, according to the weekly market watch issued by KD Libani. This expansion is attributed mainly to the hike in claims on the private sector by 14.71% to 1.38 million billion US dollars coupled with a rise in claims on the public sector by 10.99% to 548 million. Lebanese investment firm M1 Group is in advanced talks to buy Spanish fashion brand Pepe Jeans in a deal that shows the growing appetite of deep-pocketed Middle Eastern buyers for European assets. Pepe's advisor Morgan Stanley had received interest from Mayhula, an investment vehicle with close ties to Sheikha Moza, the second wife of Qatar's former emir, while Western buyouts funds were struggling to match the seller's price expectation of at least 700 million euros. But Mayula, which purchased iconic Italian fashion house Valentino in 2012, has since pulled out, leaving M1 as the final bidder. Egypt has started negotiations with Saudi Arabia and Kuwait over a supply of petroleum products requested to cover the country's needs. The desired fuel sources include diesel oil, butane and natural gas and the supply would cover a one-year period at a total cost of 4 billion US dollars. According to sources, Petroleum Minister Sharif Smail held meetings over Egypt's provision requirements a few days ago while Prime Minister Ibrahim Meleb was an official, uh, on an official visit to Kuwait. And the National Bank headquartered in Ramallah, Palestine, announced the signing of a definitive acquisition agreement with Bank al Ittihad, headquartered in Amman, Jordan, to acquire Ittihad's operation in Palestine. TNB, with a capital of 75 million US dollars, will acquire Ittihad's operation in Palestine, and Ittihad will own a 10% stake in TNB as well, as assume one seat of TNB's board. The transaction is the first of its kind in the Palestinian banking sector, whereby indigenous Palestinian bank acquires a Jordanian bank. And finally, a look at the Gulf stock markets. Saudi Arabia's markets rose in early trades, although at a slower pace than in the previous session when oil was rallying. Saudi Arabia's stock index rose 0.4% and shares in Saudi Kayan Petrochemical Company jumped 2.6%. Dubai's index edged up 1.2%, Abu Dhabi was up 0.5%, Qatar 0.3%, while Kuwait was in red at 0.1%, and Oman edged down 0.5%. That was all for today. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Arab Business and bye for now.